I must get out of here. Stop, Sebastian. Now hold on. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... I don't want to say either of those things. I really don't want to say. Can I just not? Let's just sit here, see how long it takes for it to just go away. He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew you'd understand. I did do the right thing. You did. I would have done the same. Mm. If I knew how. I could teach you. Yes, please. No time like the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Hold your wand steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. It's like the Harry Potter head. Wow. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? Whew. Welcome to the episode. Bloody heck. A lot went on last time. That's a, it's a heavy start, I'm not going to lie. Where do we go from here? I don't know the answer to that. But as you might, may have noticed, I've switched it up back into a Hogwarts uniform. Because I feel like by this point in the game, <laughs> no one else is going to be wearing it. <laughs> the truly unique version. Also, the only playthrough of Hoggy Leggy, where it gets called Hoggy Leggy, first of all. Well, second of all, where my hair gets longer every season. Well, not my hair. Finger snatches here. See, he's got a better name than me. Could it be a Merlin trial? Right, I'm going to do this Merlin trial. And we'll cut back to you when I'm doing something less lean. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. Bickle. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Gee. Are you going down, right? Bickle? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. Whoa. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll we're on it. Son, Mrs. Well, I'm a profesh you. investigate. <laughs> Don't you worry. What am I going to do? <laughs> Nazi, Nazi, get over here. Get over here. Get, get off. What are you doing? Come on, let's go! Daddy! Oh. 
Beep beep. Thank you. Great. Yeah, that's my fault. You believe this? Natty? Please do not worry, Natty. 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 Home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about right. Mr. Baker. Can I go to the shop? This, this, he had this, been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer fine. with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. Stop on chips. We need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? I've been here. Archie Bickle. I didn't steal him. He I, I didn't not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. I can Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. That doesn't usually happen. Can't believe we're playing Batman Arkham Asylum now. I thought now. we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Run into me, trying to... Carlo would not think twice about killing a child. Huh. We must find Archie quickly. Yes, yeah, just running into me while I'm trying to turn. No, no, that, that, that's my fault. But still, before that, before I ran full speed into the back of her head, get away, get away from me. Oh, fudge. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Bog. We should look around. Yeah, I found a bog. Archie's satchel. Oh yeah. So Why true. would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. I uh, just Archie went this way. I pushed it. I did it. I, I, I revelioed. It's just what it wasn't. Feeling about this. It wasn't there until she said it. I wonder what Archie saw. Yeah, leech juice, baby. Um. Didn't see Harlow kill his father. Revelio. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Right, I was going to say. Road. We will need Revelio again. It's obviously that way. It's, it's obviously that way. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh. Oh. Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Hey, Thestrals. Seven and are you are you okay? Okay, yeah, okay. Thestrals. They Just said that. Beautiful, are they not? They, you can they, see they, Thestrals they, too. I guess. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. Wait, this one's cool. I, I think those of the children's death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. Uh, not so fast, buddy. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. Mm, let us keep moving. We must find Archie. I mean, she, she was the one getting off task, not me. Oh. Um, 
my, why are we stopping? Oh, because there's a camp. Okay, I'm, I'm going to the camp. I'm gonna murder everyone in it, obviously. Children now, are we? Oh, uh, confirmed. Oh ho! Oh, he got me. Woo! Oh, that was a fish for a sec. Hey, this is the tent I couldn't go in ages ago. Yeah, there's a potion over there, I should grab it. Archie Bickle. Did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Revelio. Ah, it's all good. <laughs> you don't think he saw it happen? Expelliarmus. <laughs> Imperial. And you wish. <laughs> Kill that one behind you. Is Come that on. the best you can do? Come on. Do something useful. Come on. You got it. Come on. Come on. Crucial. It's faster than I thought that would happen, okay. Hello. Did you, who goes there? Too late. Natty, you didn't see nothing, including this weird thing. Oh. Don't worry, Archie Bickle. I'm on the way, lad. Revelio. I'm I'm slowly on the way, lad. Please, I need your help. Wait there, lad. I'm on the way. <laughs> Archie, Archie Bickle. How do you know? Your ma. Your mother sent us to find you. That's what oh, I said. I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. You can shout, well, it doesn't matter. Hello, Hamora. Everyone's dead. I mean, everyone's sleeping. Yeah. No. Oh. That comes down faster than I thought. I'm so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a <laughs> safe way back. It looks like they just made like a full scale man and then like downsized it, which just feels weird. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Mrs. Bickle, we brought your son back. I forgot your name though, so I don't know what. Uh, yeah, oh, Archie, Joanna. Oh, oh, you're safe, mother. Oh, mother. Father's 
friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends? Sorry died? about your book here. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. Revelio, you run inside. <gasps> yes, mother. That's a demi, guys. That's a demi, guys. Fine now, demi, guys. Give me, give me, give me that. And, and that's it. Yeah. Ooh, nice little reward. Archie, you didn't see nothing. Miss Bigger. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep Maybe your this? distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. Hello. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Um. <clears throat> worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that Rain. Hello. Um. Is Rookwood's mate, isn't he? Like that when we got a, when we got accosted in the pub. About Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You yeah. Hearing from me as soon as I know something. Cool. Thank you for you, the you know you know Hogwarts is the other way. Um Okay. Bye. Hmm. What do you want? You may beseech. Hello, Grace. Can I help you? Ah, oh, yes. Summoner's Court. I thought I recognised you. I beat you I was already. I hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Okay. Going to the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. It's not an adventure. Precisely the response it's just I wet and cold. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Yeah, ma'am. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially if something of mere sentimental value. I understand. <laughs> I didn't read the what I was meant to say. <laughs> I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you Whoops. may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. You didn't even point? It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Yeah, I'm on it. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Let's get ready for diving. Ooh, bit chilly out here, isn't it? So anyway, come on. Thing. Wait. Oh, we actually did get the thing. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. There we go. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, no. Didn't 
find the dive too terribly difficult. Ah, didn't you see me club it? I was well prepared. Hello, Grace. <laughs> I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Uh... Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Too cold and wet for me. Right, let's get changed again. Magic changer only. Even put a little hat on just because it's a bit chilly, you know. Oh. And a scarf. Anyway. Let's go and see what Sebby Sprouse wants. Ah, the boy's back in town. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. See you later, Ominous. It's all got a bit heavy, Annie. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's But you gone. did. You did kill him. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne. I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Does he? I mean, I'll, 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 I'll yeah. With ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. Um, no matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Not the best of times, like, is it? Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. Okay. Right. On one hand, he did murder his uncle. Yeah, that's pretty bad. As a, a side note to that, he did teach us all of the unforgivable cases. And he knew them all already, so I feel like he was prepared to do some stuff. You know? Some stuff. But honestly, I feel like I'll just miss him if he goes. You know what I mean? Our Cole Sprouse standing. This sucks. I knew I shouldn't have put this stupid hat on for this. <laughs> uh, realistically, he should be turned in. Although, I'm not a snitch. And his uncle was an absolute bungalow. And he did! Did he attack first? I can't remember. He stole the the thing and destroyed it. And I was like, wow, that's bad. Because it was. It was so easy to destroy. Um, and then Sebastian shouted at him. And then he attacked me. Yeah, Solomon went straight for me. It's just a bit rude. You know what, Sol Solomon attacked me. I don't care. No. You do have a choice. What good will it Morals out the window. Now? Selfishness you only. Oh no, I've gone slither. Do anything like this again? We've both heard that before, but we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. 
Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. <clears throat> you're a good friend. Honestly, my preference would be... lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. Really not the time, I Natty. May be easier on me if you are there. You know, Ominous. In a better in a better version of this world, we're still friends, but um I'm less of a tit, to be completely honest with you. What's going on? You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. <laughs> you know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you, and she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, <laughs> but you must not meddle in the affairs like of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. I doubt that. I am so not good at that. Oh, yeah. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. <laughs> is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. Ah, like them fellas I've been making. Form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Good job. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But mother is less enthusiastic about it. Can you teach me how to transform? No creature, especially is that a one thing in this game? as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. Want to be a rat? <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form, but she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. I mean, it might be true. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. Listen, I Natty, I, I've got have. plot armor, you I haven't. Deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <laughs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you um, for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Well, well, this this is a this was a quest. This this was a this was a quest. This was a okay. Uh, meow. Too slow, loser. Shut up, Ignatia. Too slow, loser. Oh, you sussy little backers. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. I don't. Me Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. She sees the future. You I can tid. do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Hey, Bobby. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? 
Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Oh. Conversational ambush? Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Yeah, they loved us. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets, mm. I do want to tell you why Victor mm. is after me. He's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig's asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit about what we saw back at Hauntel Hall. Of course, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Even the centaurs won't know. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What just happened? Oh! Yeah! The Jason Momoas are going? What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. These guys are bummholes. Leave if it's beef, be, Alec. Oh. we do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. <laughs> they I mean, yeah. Here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Uh, okay. Thought we were mates. Guess not. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And Did why you... was he so certain about where we could find one? It is. Uh, I don't let's know, just go. But I am inclined to believe him. What let's just go and look. I am too. I mean, it's, it's not there. It's not there. Quickly, he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library. A strange and version the of the Harry region. Potter theme going on. I'll let you know what I find. So is that you brought me all the way down to here for that? For that, puppy. See you later. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. 
we must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. All right. <clears throat> Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We meet me. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Huh. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated nice. that I only Classic. had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort? I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an Sus? order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was yeah. a note from Rosie Hill. Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We Why? haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping. But That's I can't a crime. it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. All right. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. So oh, tragic what happened to Bigfoot. <laughs> he, to speak out against he looks Harlow like that. An act of that man looks like that. Me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. <laughs> and so I refused. That he must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Hmm. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Hey. No gazelle prints yet. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> I'll murder you, son. Ravelio. Uh, Natty, where are you? Natty must oh. have been taken this way. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Accio! Hmm. Revelio! Okay, Accio. maybe I just didn't hold it long enough. Hidden door. 
You don't say Finn. Taken this way. I need to find her quickly. What a buffoon. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Have to come in here alone. A what? What? How apt indeed. Revelio. This seems um everyone in Upper Hogsfield shudders doable. when they see me come. I think this is the one. Rightfully so. It's gone. Crazy. He's still alive. Uh, I enjoyed that. Finally got to use it. Revelio. Oh, my darling Otto, I read your last letter over and over, and I am certain to read it again. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. Who the f... He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. I'll read that letter later. Or, oh, I'll forget about it. Either way, there's someone in here who needs to die. Revelio. Ah. Akio. Revelio. We should speak to her again. Perhaps What's she that can tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Of course, yeah. Tell him to say nothing. He's got to steal with her when he arrives. A body could die. You okay, bud? Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Natty must be here somewhere. Don't worry, Natty. I am here to help. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Raven. He will tell you over here. What's he gonna tell me? Okay, right, right. First of all. You get out. Mr. Rabe. Don't you look told me you've been absolutely abducted. swaggy. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. You've got a wife? These locks are cursed. You look... And there's an you anti look, you look, jinx on the cells. You look, you look 15. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. 
Uh, Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. D detection? Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. You good? Cool. Alright, uh, where's this wander? Oh, uh, wand! Mr. Rabe's wand could be in there. Hello, Hamora. Here okay, now. Set me there. Mr. Rabe's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. <sighs> Isco, where you go? Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Wow, that was powerful. Crazy. <laughs> nice, I like the agency. She's definitely more urgent than you. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I, I kind of assumed it was going to spawn more in or something, be, just because she said that, but okay. <laughs> Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for <laughs> Once and f One time. Oh. Were you just waiting here? Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Thanks. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. You are fast. Right. He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these Ruth, you're still men. staring at me. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you... I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. What you wearing, Alpen? With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them True. to us. True, which is no why discussion on this. I murdered them. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. No problem. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Onwards and upwards, eh? According to the ally received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Loggok to get it. 
He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Mail and beard. And Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. Nice one, Rackham. Appreciate that. The next trial will Let's involve get to an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. You should have seen how I dealt with that Niffler in Irondale. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Okay. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. See you there, Bakar. Sounds like a Star Trek character. Magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose mm. we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. I'm most pleased to be included. <laughs> nice one, Ignatius. Right, so on our way there, we're actually going to... Uh... Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Well, I'll talk while uh, they're all doing their thing. On our way there, we're going to hit the ancient magic hotspots and get our fourth bar at the bottom. We need to hit three hotspots, which I know where they are, but they're all prior to the main story in location. So, let's go and sort out whatever's going on over here. Nobody wants. It is a score of Fredwell's gun. Slippery to the break up. No spy, Lisbeth. Thought we could get him at that goblin on you, Nick. Incendio! Rupendo, arrest the momentum. Rupendo! You insolent crap! Stop him! Uh, give me a sec, Ancient Magic. There's cats. The most intense pussy stroking you've ever seen. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. Okay. What's up with this junk? Confringo. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. It's Cthulhu, again. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? Cthulhu? <laughs> of course! It looks like a grap horn. Oh. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham uh -huh. meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Okay. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So, I shall wish you good luck, and wait for your return in the map chamber. Wow! You're really fully useless this time, eh? 
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Like a dog choosing where to lie down. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Oh, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Miss me. Why are we fighting? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why are we fighting? I don't want to fight you. I'm not allowed to Crucio him. You good, Davey? More? Crap. If it's on, then it's on, brother man. Ho ho ho! I feel like because it's giving me the option I have to click it. I need your help, friend. We cool? Okay, 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 okay. What? I'm riding them. I'm jocking, top jocking, man. What? I can just, I can just do this now? What was that? Oh, I can't pick up me, oh, I can't pick up me these shoes. Oh, okay. Let's go. Can't remember my way back to that place, but I'll get there. Come on, Davy. Yeah. We're in. I'm in.
Well, that was epic. I absolutely loved that. Wow. Wow. Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Oh, is that um That's the that's the trial? That's the trial done. It's just it's just go and go and yeehaw wrangle that bad boy. That doesn't really look like that guy. Not that the, any of the others have looked much like the person, to be fair. Does that guy... Did the guy have weird swirly stuff on his face? Like his eyes? Like next to his eyes? Anyway, should have had him. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? He's just sitting on a chair. Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. What? We must gather the others. Oh, do they have an epic wizard duel? That's just a student, yeah? I need you to return to your common room, all right? The last orb is below Hogwarts. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! Oh my god! Yes! Bakar! 
Yes! The car's a real one? The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe mm. from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. It's fair. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Oof. 12 out of 14. But I think that's where we have to end it right now. See you next time. Like the video. Subscribe. Send a few pics. No, no. Uh, ring the bell? In a bit.